Hello. Um, this video is for Missing Wolf. This is um, about your doll. I thought it would just be easier if I just uh, made a little video. So anyway, he's very, very big. There's Aja. I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, first of all, here's his face. His ears are a little bit bigger um, than they probably should be according to your reference. Um, I haven't made his ear cuffs yet. I wanted to check with you about that because I was just going to, like, make them just tight enough to fit on there. Um, his eyes are actually, it's really hard to tell, but they're actually made of, like, a red glitter that I just layered and layered and layered. Okay, so, anyway, here are his wings. Um, you can see I'm still working on them. This one's even more not done but I wanted to go ahead and give you an update today. Um, this is the Halloween fabric print that I was um, telling you about. So <laughs> I hope it works out. Um, you see there's little tiny stars and they're all very like uh, rainbowy when they reflect but they're actually silver. Um, I don't know if that turns out too prissy for him or not. It's up to you. I can put some paint on the but I didn't think it looked too bad. Now, he's really big, so I have to hold him funny because I'm holding the camera. His toes are pretty fuzzy. Um, every single toe is... That one's kind of wonky right now. But every single toe was constructed of wire armature um, all the way to the tip, and then I just put sculpt on the... Uh, sculpty firm on the tip so that they wouldn't break so easily. It is really important that when you're posing them, though, you grasp them by the toe and then also by the actual um, wire while you're bending them. And it's going to be really hard for me to pose him when I'm holding the camera up, but just give me a minute. Let's see. They do twist a little bit, but they won't come out. They're glued in several places and rooted really well. But as you can see, they bend very easily. Um, as do the legs and the tail. Um, he has such a unique design. Again, I'm not done, but I uh, really wanted to capture all the different little nuances about his fur, so it was a real challenge with the sewing, but I think I did okay on that part. It's just that he is pretty fuzzy, so I don't know if you want me to trim the fur down. Um, the one thing is that the thread I used throughout the doll, which I kind of regret, was all black. Um, so if I trim the fur down on the orange areas, you're going to be able to see, you can kind of see it there, the stitch is a lot easier. So I don't know if that changes your mind about if you want them trimmed down or not. Um, I used short black fur on his wings just so it wouldn't really obstruct anything else. I did use long black fur though for his body, so he's nice and furry, he's huge, he ended up way bigger than I thought he would, so, oops, I can't turn it sideways, sorry, <laughs> but yeah, he's really big, so, um, you can pose him anywhere, his wings completely pose, uh, he can hang by his tail, he can hang by his feet, he can hang from clinging to things with his wings, so, um, Whatever you want. I hope you like it.